Hello and welcome to our first video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about just some very basic differences between Macs and PCs. Um, if you're familiar with Macs already, um, you might find this uh, a little repetitive. You might already know these basic differences. However, if this is your first time using a Mac, um, hopefully these uh, demonstrations will help you become a little more comfortable using this kind of computer. So, some of the basics between Macs and PCs. Here on my Mac desktop, you'll notice I don't have a start menu at the very bottom like I would on a PC. Instead, what I have is called the dock. And the dock is this cool list of icons that represent various programs and applications that I have on my computer. Now what's nice about the dock is that these programs are readily available. They're right here ready to go. Um, so I have my internet, my iTunes, over here I have some word processing and some other Microsoft products. And the dock lets me access those very easily. Now those don't represent all of the programs on my computer. And if I have a certain program that I need to open that isn't on my dock, what I can do is go up to the top right of my screen and double click the Macintosh hard drive icon right here. And within this Macintosh hard drive, if I double click this applications folder, I now have a list of all the programs installed on this computer. And I can simply open one up from this list or if I find that I might need to use this program more often and want it uh, readily available in my dock, I can simply click and drag that program onto the dock, let go of my mouse button, and that program is now stuck on my dock and I can use it whenever I would like. If I want to get rid of a program on my dock, all I need to do is click and drag off of the dock and let go of the mouse button and that program is no longer on my dock. It is still, however, in my applications folder. So, another uh, difference between Macs and PCs that you might notice at first glance is this menu bar at the very top of the screen. Uh, at the right hand side of this menu bar you'll have a clock, uh, some volume options, wireless internet settings, and some other tools that you can customize to fit your needs. At the very left of the menu bar, you have the Apple icon, which if you click, you have some options. You, know, you can set the computer to sleep, you can restart, shut down, and in your case, when you're done working, you would select this bottom option of logging out. Now, in this menu, you also have what is called System Preferences. If you click that, uh, you get a window that is much like a PC's control panel. Here you can adjust display options, you can set the screensaver, you can adjust your sound, keyboard and mouse options. Uh, anything that you might need to customize this computer can be found in the system preferences. So looking at the menu bar at the top again, you might notice that the default menu bar is called the finder right here at the top left. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the Finder in later videos, but what I want you to notice uh, right now is what happens to this menu bar when I open a program. So if I go ahead and click on the Microsoft Word icon, Word opens up and you'll notice that the menu bar changes from Finder to Word. And now I have all my tools and options for uh, this particular program. And this will happen with Whatever program you open, whether it's iTunes or an internet browser, the menu bar will change to represent whatever program you're working with. Another subtle difference between Macs and PCs is that on a PC, your controls for a particular program, whether you want to close it, minimize it, or maximize it, are at the top right of the window. On a Mac, however, those controls are on the top left. We have the red X to close the window, the yellow minus sign to minimize the window, and the green plus sign to maximize. 
Now watch what happens when I click that red X to close this program. That document or that window closes, but this program is still running. Microsoft Word is still open. So in order to actually close out of the program and quit it altogether, what you would need to do is click on the name of the program running in the menu bar and simply cursor down to quit that program. And now that program is shut down and no longer running. So those are just a few of the basic differences between Macs and PCs and as we discuss some of the uh, applications and programs later on uh, you might find some other differences that we will point out as well. So for now uh, go ahead and move on to some of the other videos to become a little bit more familiar with a Mac and um, explore some of the step-by-step -step tutorials that will help you with your assignments and projects.